Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about nipple piercings and why I wanted to get them, what made me get them, how they treated me, and how long I've had them, and things like that, pain, etc. All that. That's what we're going to be talking about today, so stay tuned. Welcome beauties. Hi beauties once again so we're just gonna jump right into it um i have both of my nipples pierced and i also have um my vagina pierced i have my nose pierced i have my ears pierced i've had my belly button pierced before and i've had my tongue pierced before okay so those are all my piercings now my nipple piercings i've gotten done about five years ago I got them done both at the same time. Um, the first one, they have to be done one at a time to make sure they line up accurately. Um, the first one that he did was the right one and it was quick. Quick piercing, quick pain, quick. But with the first one being, with the right one being done first, I knew what to expect for the left one. So that made me tense up. Um, and within that same day, within those same hours after you're getting pierced, you are feeling a burning sensation, an aching sensation. Feels, it kind of feels like your nipples are on fire. Um, that goes away after the first 24 hours and then you're left with soreness. So, um... Yeah, your nipples get really sore. Be careful not to snag anything. Be careful not to bump, get them bumped into or bump anything. Um, they are really going to be sore for, I want to say, a good two weeks at first. They're still healing after the two weeks, after the soreness goes away. But you're, you, you're able to do more with your boobs once the soreness goes away and it's not as bad. And that's normal as well. You're, all you need to do is just... I'm cleaning with some salt water daily and just make sure you're turning your nipple rings so they don't get stuck. You just make sure you, you're turning them. You don't, don't unscrew your ball. Make sure your balls are on tight, but you're, you're turning your nipple rings around so that they don't get stuck um, in one spot and get stuck on the crust and stuff in the healing process. I honestly say that I know for me, and most people, when they get their nipple piercings, the most exciting thing is changing the ring. But when you just get your nipples done, don't do it. Don't do it because if the ring comes out, that hole is closed. It, not even 60 seconds, 5 minutes, it's closed. Once it's out, it automatically closes up like this. You can blink and it's closed. Um... So don't be excited to change your rings after two weeks, three weeks. I, I honestly think you should wait until you do not feel any pain. You don't have any pus or any crust, like, before you change your rings out. Um, because it'll make it easier when you do go to change them. That way you're not struggling. And that way that hole is not closing up. Which that happened to me when I um, was in the process of getting my boobs done or before I was getting them done. Um, I woke up one day and I noticed that my nipple ring was missing. So I'm like, oh, snap. Let me hurry up and try to get it in and, get, you know, get another one and get it in there. So I don't know how long it was missing for. I don't know if I lost it that day or the night before or what. But I go and I go get a new ring and I go to put it in and it's closed. Like one side will go in, but it won't go through through the other side. So I'm struggling, I'm struggling. I'm like really upset because I like my nipple rings. I think they are really sexy, especially they go well with my boobs. So I'm really upset like, oh, I don't want to go and get another one, another re-piercing because the first one hurt it. I don't think I want to feel that again. Um, so I just left it alone and I went and got my boobs done. Cause you have to take your breast piercing, your piercing, your nipple piercings out anyway, when you go get a breast implant or anything done with your breast. 
So I figured, well, if I decide to get it re-pierced, I'll wait until after my breast and my breast implants, and then I'll come back and revisit the situation. So a year goes by. I have my boobs in and everything. We're good. We're healing with those and stuff like that. And spur of the moment again, I decide to go get my boob re-pierced. When I get there, I change my mind. But everyone's like, well, you're already here. You signed the release form. You signed the um release form and all this other stuff. You might as well get it. I was going to change that piercing actually into a tattoo. Because, <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm over piercings. I don't think I'm going to get any more. Um, but I ended up getting it. And it's okay now. It healed a little bit better than it did the first time. It hurt it. It hurt more than it did the first time. And I think it's because of the re-piercing. They didn't re-pierce through the same hole. He actually re-pierced it a little bit above the previous hole. So that was okay. Um, I actually think that me getting this re-pierced looks better than it did originally when I first got it done. I don't think they were even when I first got it done. But now they're even. Um... But yeah, if they come out again, I'm not getting any more. I'm not getting no more repairs. If it, no, no, it's quick, but it's 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 a nice little pain. Mm -mm. So if you're thinking about getting your nipples pierced, I would say do some research on it. You know, or just follow your first mind. It's not a bad thing. You just have to take care of yourself afterwards. That's all, and you just have to monitor your nipple piercings and your nipple rings so that they don't come out and that the hole doesn't close. I would um, say some pros of having nipple piercings are that they are sexy. They can increase sensation during sex. Um, they're something to play with. And they are a, a jewelry, a jewelry accent to your body. I would say the cons are that you... If you're a person who doesn't like to wear bras, um, you might want to start wearing bras when you get your nipples pierced because you can see your nipple piercing through every, everything, every shirt, everything. No matter if the shirt is thick or not, if you don't have on a bra, you can't see the nipple rings. Um, and some people get offense to that. Some people don't. Who cares? But, you know, that could be one of the cons if you don't, you know, want everybody knowing what you have. Um... Another kind could be that the uh, rings fall out while you're asleep and your 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 hole closes up or um they never heal properly um there's they, like after uh, years of having them you still have crust and pus and things like that um the healing process itself is a kind because it it takes forever to heal and they never really heal 100% um I think that's all I can think of about nipple piercings. If you guys have any questions or any comments or, you know, want to talk about your experience or if you want to comment on something I could have touched on or you wanted me to touch on in this video, please don't hesitate to leave any comments. Hit that subscribe button if you like. Um, all right. And remember to stay beautiful inside and out. Bye, beauties.